We're hearing from people who worked inside the Russian troll factory named in, a, in special counsel Robert Mueller's indictment. The indictment identified 13 Russians who allegedly tried to influence the 2016 presidential election using social media. Elizabeth Palmer spoke with a young activist who got a job in the factory. She is in St. Petersburg with how the activist hopes the trolls can be brought to justice. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. The Russian government has pushed back fiercely against charges of trolling U.S. citizens in the run-up to the presidential elections, but not all Russians are in denial about it. We spoke to Ludmila Savchuk, an activist who went underground in 2015 to get a job in the by now infamous troll factory. She was horrified by the round-the-clock operation, including night shifts, and depressed by the Kremlin-aligned propaganda aimed at Russians as well as Americans. What did you think when you saw the American indictment? Um, I felt as if it brought me back to life. Trolls here are never punished. So the U.S. indictment was a first step in bringing these people, who are basically criminals, to justice. Savchuk told us the trolls based in the office building on Savushkina Street are still hard at work. What American project? The U.S. operation may have wound down, but she says now the trolls are churning out pictures and fake news aimed at turning Russian public opinion against Americans. Fighting that can be risky. Are you afraid for yourself? If I am to stay safe, I can't answer that question. At the end of that interview, Ludmilla had a question for us. How likely is it, she asked, that the 13 people named in the indictment would ever face U.S. justice? And we had to tell her there is almost no chance because the Russians are extremely unlikely to extradite them. Gail? All right, Elizabeth Palmer in St. Petersburg. Thank you.